Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm starting a new series, basic tips, things that you need to be doing correctly to play better golf. I think a lot of us are out there kind of searching YouTube and different teachers trying to find that piece of gold which is going to change our golf swing and make us play far better golf. And in most cases, that golden nugget you're looking for is one of the simple fundamentals of the game, the basics. So in this series of videos, I want to get back to basics and have a look at some of the important things that maybe you've forgotten or you're overlooking in your game at the moment. And we're going to start quite honestly with what I call baby swing which other people call a chip. In my experience, if you can chip the ball correctly, if you have a good technique when chipping, then you are going to have a decent technique when you're pitching and also in your full swing. If, however, baby swing isn't working, then mummy swing and daddy swing aren't going to be working either. So it's all about getting back to the basics. And if you're thinking about chipping, there's a couple of angles you ought to be thinking about. First of all, the lean of the club, and second of all, the lie of the club. And I think these basics are forgotten far too often. You've got to remember that if you get too much lean in the golf club, you're going to get the leading edge digging into the ground. On the same point, if you don't get enough lean on the golf club, if you are scooping the ball, you're going to be hitting the, the ground with the back edge of the golf club and topping it, especially if you're losing, using a wide wedge sold club with a lot of bounce on it. So the first thing you want to get a feeling for, if you were to just put the club on your two fingers and slide it backwards and forwards, you'll actually find that if you move the grip end to the handle too far forward, it will start to scrape the fingers. If you move it too back, far back, you will actually see the leading edge come up off the fingers and you know there's a good chance of you topping the ball or the club bouncing up into the ball. So that's the first thing. It's getting that kind of feeling of how you're going to bring and present the club to the ball in the swing, which means actually getting a feeling for how much forward lean you have in the address position and then holding that forward lean through the shot, especially when we're talking about a chip shot where we're not using an awful lot of wrists, so we're not going to be changing that angle too much. So setting it at address with the handle too far forward is asking for trouble because it's likely to dig into the ground, the leading edge, and getting yourself to a point where you've got the ball too far up in your stance and your hands at the same height or even behind the ball will also be a problem because you're simply lifting the leading edge off the floor. Probably more of a problem in the technique, however, is keeping the shaft angle through the shot. And that is lost a lot of times immediately at the start of the backswing. Starting your backswing is one of the most difficult parts of a golf swing simply because you're going from a standing start and therefore getting the muscles working and getting tension in your body is very difficult to do at the same time. You need tension in order to hold the golf club, keep control over the golf club. You need to relax in order to get your muscles to move. And this is a difficult job. And what will often happen is that gravity will start to fight you. And what I'm meaning by that, if you actually look at the shot here, is that when you start the club back, the gravity is going to try and push the head down and the grip end up. Simple, when we look at a golf club, the weight of the head is always going to be pulled down towards the ground, pushing the grip end up. And if this happens in your backswing, you will lose the plane or the angle of the light angle of the golf club in the backswing. You've got to be able to hold that angle as you take the club away the first few feet of your swing, uh, which is usually the full swing if you're talking about a chipping a golf ball. 
How to do this is very simple as long as you've got a decent grip. You've got to get your lead hand and more importantly the heel of your lead hand on top of the, of the butt of the club. If you haven't done that, then the club is always going to be able to kind of push up. And you can actually see, if I give you a kind of a close-up of my grip, that I'm getting the red rubber from the top of the grip is leaving an impression on the, hand, on the glove here. And that's because that part of my hand is pressing down on the butt of the club during the shot. And by pressing down, I am holding the angle as I take the club away from the ball. It's that angle and that so-called plane of the golf club which is so important. If you can keep the thing in plane, then you are really halfway there to getting the club back to the ball. What will happen if you don't do this is that the club will move behind you and you are going to have to do something to get back there, often making your butt moving towards the ball rather than away from the ball. And keeping the club out in front of you simply means there's a nice path for it to be moving through the ball. So if you can get these two angles to work, the angle of the shaft and the lean towards the target as far as the grip end is concerned and the angle or lie angle or plane of the club holding that by keeping pressure on the lead hand and the heel of the lead hand you're really looking towards building a solid foundation for your swing. The last thing I want to talk about today is timing that movement. The movement, this rotation of your shoulders, arms and hand, getting that triangle to move backwards and forwards and allowing your body to rotate with it. I know a lot of people feel more confident when they're holding their hips and legs stiff during a chipping movement, almost a bit like a putt. But a lot of times it's like cutting off your nervous system, cutting off that feel from the ground. And rather than everything flowing in your swing, it starts to look a bit choppy. So what I would also like to see you doing when you are chipping a golf ball is allowing your body to simply move with you. Get that feeling of your shoulders rotating and allowing your belt buckle to move a bit backwards and forwards with you. I do think that a slightly open stance, a slightly open feet position and hip position for a chip movement is advantageous because it will allow your shoulders to turn a little bit further in the follow through and allow you to keep a bit, bit, long, a bit more pressure on the grip, on the handle of the club for longer through impact. And that way there's no chance of the club stopping your hand stopping the club overtaking you and you kind of starting to spoon the ball away from the ground. Once again then, you get your shoulders and club aimed at the target, stand a little open to the club, the ball can be more or less at the center of your stance. Get the feeling of the club staying in plane as you take it back. Get the feeling of the lean of the club staying consistent through the whole of the swing and then take it up to the golf ball and you should be chipping the golf ball far cleaner, far more reliably than ever before. And this is a movement that you can take into your full swing. The same kind of feeling at the beginning of your backswing, as your lead shoulder comes down, as you bump away from your lead hand, make sure that you're applying pressure to the grip end of the club, keeping the handle low in your feeling and stopping the grip coming up and you're losing shaft plane at the beginning of your backswing. Do that and you're on the way to a great swing and far better chips. Hope this helps you. If it does as ever, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks to all my patrons out there for supporting the channel for so long. 
so brilliantly. Uh, thank you very much, guys. And if you would like to become a patron, I shall leave a link below as well. I'll be back very shortly with the next one. Until then, look after yourselves. Goodbye.